Today I'm going to show you a quick, secure and easy way to access your Clipper enabled 3D printer from anywhere in the world on any device. I will be demonstrating this on my Sovel SV07 3D printer which comes with an MKS maker pad. If you have another Clipper enabled 3D printer, these instructions should still work but you should search the internet to find out the SSH credentials for your particular printer or Clipper screen. Any device you can SSH into, you can follow this guide. The very first thing to do is to go to tailscale.com and register for an account. It's free and takes less than 10 seconds. Then follow the instructions to install it to your computer. You may also wish to install it to your mobile phone or any other device where you wish to access your 3D printer. If you have a Linux or a Mac device, you could use the terminal provided there. Otherwise, if you're using Windows, open PowerShell as administrator and type WSL space dash dash install and hit enter. The install will take a few minutes. Once it is complete, reboot your computer. The virtual machine should appear on next boot, but if it doesn't, just open the start menu and search for Ubuntu. The first time it starts, you'll be prompted to set a username and password. Set these to something you'll remember. It is normal that nothing appears as you type your password. Just type your password and hit enter. Now it's time to connect to your printer. Type SSH space MKS and then the IP address you normally use to access main cell or fluid. Hit enter and say yes to the warning. Then enter the password MakerPad. You will then be presented with a shell. Now we will install Tailscale. Copy the command from the video description and paste it into your shell and then hit enter. The installation process took around 5 minutes for me but this will vary. If the shell appears stuck, try pressing enter. Now we must sign our printer into Tailscale, adding it to our Tailnet. To do this, type sudo tailscale up in your shell and hit enter. Then sign in with the same account you used earlier and head back to your shell. There is one final thing we must do. We need to head to main sale using the usual IP address we used before and then head to the machine section. Select moonraker.conf and in the trusted clients area, add the IP address 100.64.0.0 forward slash 10 as shown. This will then allow Tailscale clients using Fluid or Mainsail to access Moonraker. Once you have done this, press save and restart. While we're waiting for the printer to restart, let's go to tailscale.com and access the admin console. Once we're in the admin console, find the row that corresponds to your printer, in my case, MKS PI. Click the drop down next to the IP address and select the one you like the most. This is the new address you can now use to access your printer on any device you install Tailscale onto. It really is that easy. I hope this guide helped you. If it did, check this video a like and I'll see you again soon.